We choose to go to the moon. That's one small step for man, giant leap for mankind. What do all those images have in common? That's right, they were all made possible by NASA. What else? The answer is right down there. I'm going to tell you about NASA's Stennis Space Center, the nation's premier rocket engine testing facility. In the 1960s, Thousands of workers battling mosquitoes, deadlines, and a major hurricane turned this swampy rough terrain into a world-class rocket engine testing facility. We tested the first engine on April 23, 1966, and since then, the shake, rattle, and roar of rocket engine testing has been job one at Stennis. Teaming with other NASA centers, Stennis has tested engines for some of the greatest space adventures in the history of the world. Not one mission has failed because of an engine malfunction, and we're proud of that record. Stenosphere is the visitor center and museum at Stennis. Here, you can land a shuttle, compare Earth and Mars, and explore the International Space Station, all for free. Stennis is a fascinating place, and it's not just all rocket engine testing. Applied Sciences is an important part of the center. Stennis scientists use NASA research data to benefit life on Earth. The focus is on the Gulf of Mexico coastal communities, such as wetland conservation. And Stennis is not just NASA. It is home to more than 30 federal, state, academic, and private organizations and numerous technology-based companies. After 40 plus years, Stennis remains an integral part of NASA's ongoing mission of space exploration. Now, Stennis is building a 300-foot tall test stand that will enable astronauts to go beyond low Earth orbit. In the 1960s, there was a saying, to get to the moon, you have to go through South Mississippi first. More than 40 years later, one thing remains sure, rocket engine testing at John C. Stennis Space Center will continue to be a part of NASA's journey to the stars. Thank you.